In this video, I finished the problem that I started in the last video. Um, in the last video, we talked about how to solve um, this differential equation by separating the variables. This is problem 2.2.21 from the Nagel Fundamentals of Differential Equations text, seventh edition. This is a separable differential equation and it has an initial condition. We're asked to type an implicit solution and they specifically want a solution involving y and theta as variables. Now in the last video, I show you how you take the initial differential equation and then multiply as necessary in order to get all the y's on one side and all the thetas on the other. Turns out on this side, you have to do a little bit of algebraic manipulation so that you can anti-differentiate. And on this side, you have to use integration by parts. Um, in the last video, I just stopped here, um, but I forgot, I forgot about the initial condition um, we have to use this initial condition um, in order to find the value of C. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. Now remember what this means. This is telling us that when our independent variable equals zero, Y is equal to one. From context, we know that that's theta. Our, our independent variable is theta. So this means that when theta equals zero, Y is equal to one. So we can use those two values here in this equation to find the appropriate value for C. Um, you're just going to substitute. This is an equation involving three variables, y, theta, and C. When you replace y with one and theta with zero, you'll find out what C has to be. And so this video is going to be pretty short. So we'll replace y with one. We'll replace theta with zero. And then we'll solve for C and then we'll back substitute. So that was one third uh, times Y cubed plus natural log of the absolute value of Y, Y is one over here and um, theta is zero. So we have zero sine of zero plus cosine of zero plus C on the right hand side. Um, so this is one third and natural log of one is just zero. They have one third plus zero, which is of course one third. And then this is zero plus one plus C. So one third equals one plus C. So that means C equals one third minus one or one third minus three thirds, which is negative two thirds. Now you're not done until you substitute that value for C into this equation. So the final answer, or a version of the final answer, is this right here. You have one third y cubed plus natural log of the absolute value of y equals theta sine of theta, <coughs> excuse me, plus cosine of theta plus C, but you replace C with the negative two thirds. So that's one version of the answer. Or if you're like many people, you like to get rid of the fractions, you could multiply the entire equation by three and that would still work. So you could have all of this if you prefer. When I multiply this by three, the one third times three is one. When I multiply this by three, the negative two thirds times three is just negative two. Either one of those is fine or any um, algebraically equivalent equation is fine. Um, we are asked to type an implicit solution. Um, so I might type this or I might type this. Either one would go right there. And that would be the solution to the initial value problem.